How's everything going? Quill in Timber back again with another video. Now we're here watching someone by the name of J Station. I've seen him in a few other videos that people have done, but I'm not really understanding and grasping his concept. But we'll get straight into it anyway and you'll see what I mean. What's good guys? I just got done watching the brand new Keemstar video. He just did a dedicated video on me. I don't know any other YouTuber this guy has actually made an entire video dedicated for, guys. So I Right away, I I think he might have done a few to be fair, I'm not going to lie, like, you know, I don't know if this geezer has been keeping up with drama alert, obviously as you can see in the top of the title, I didn't know why I couldn't find that word, um, drama alert obviously being Keemstar, you know, he's done it many a times, like, he's there for the news, of course, and obviously if he's going to get something from this guy, then, you know, that's getting him used, he's going to do it. I feel very special, big shout out to Keemstar for dropping that video, man, you just... Why is he shouting him out if YouTube needs to delete his channel? That just don't seem right. He's promoted like 20 of my videos. Thank you so much. I know you're my number one fan, bro. So keep start just... That was sarcasm. I, could... I know it seems so obvious, but like, you know, just in case there's any six-year-olds who just don't grasp it. Sarcasm. He made this brand new hashtag called hashtag stop J Station. But in the video, he mainly... Their background concept. Con context. This guy basically made 3am videos on, I think he did one on Kobe Bryant, the person who passed away recently. He's done, he, I think he even went to the extent to fake his girlfriend's death. And I know people have faked a lot of things, and I personally know a few who have. But why would you go that far? Even on like such a platform like this, where there's so many people, he has, let's have a look, 5 point, basically 5.5 .5 million. And he's gonna do something like that? Seriously? He just brought up the same old stuff that everybody just keeps on bringing up. Oh, J Station did a Ouija board on two people. Basically, Keemstar's upset that I'm profiting off of people's death, but I'm not actually doing that, and I. But you are then? I mean, let's, um, let, let's just check. Let me just check his channel one second. Okay, so. Where is it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we'll check in his video. See, I think it was one of. There we go. Come on, come on. Where is it? Come on. I bet it's already. I bet I've already seen it. What's the chance I've already seen it? Look, somebody, my girlfriend's dead dog. What the hell? Anyway, back to the video in hand. Just straight back into it. I don't even make those kind of videos anymore. In fact, I mean, Keemstar's the one. He made it sound like that's like perfectly normal. If you stop, basically you've done nothing wrong. Who wants to profit off of people's deaths? There's this YouTuber called Total Biscuit who had cancer. Like he was laying on his deathbed. <clears throat> and then Keemstar trash talks this guy on his deathbed and says he can't wait to report on this guy's death. Look, you Found gonna again. Piece of sh I've been f watching you for years i've been a fan of you for years out of the blue you tweet at me you're not news and then you f block me why okay you can see this guy's anger like, i can maybe understand how he can be taken out of context but you can see the guy's anger oh i've never even f said anything about you at all like now i want to now i want to be like hmm can't wait to report your death <laughs> i mean you Okay, okay, I'll take that back. I'll take that back. That's a bit harsh, to be fair. Super beef and all, that's kind of low, man. I wouldn't wish death on any one of my... No, no, but you try and call him at 3 a.m. Enemies. Well, it seems Keemstar just can't wait for his enemies to die so he can make a video and make money off of them dying. And just to be clear, I didn't make any... Isn't that what you're doing? ...money off of those Ouija board videos that I did. In fact, when Etika died, I donated $5,000 to his family, which... Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Take everything back. You've, you've been... You've done. Take everything back. You've donated some money. Amazing guy. Absolute hero. Keemstar even still trash talk. But you know what's funny about that whole thing? Keemstar is the one. Oh. Even still trash talk. But you know what's funny about that whole thing? Keemstar is the one who actually killed Etika. He Why would you put that in the video? It literally in the. I don't know if you can see in this corner. In my opinion, your opinion or not, you do not put that on the internet. I know this is seeming harsh, I'm just going totally at him like every couple of seconds, but 
this guy's not right, I'm telling you now. There's nothing positive you can seriously say about this guy. He's the actual cause of Etika's death. He actually killed a guy, all right? You, YouTube's gonna stop anybody. They need to stop Keemstar, okay? He's out here, literally causing guys to go suicide, okay? Here's Keemstar. Do you know how you go suicide? Not, not you're suicidal, you go suicide. Are telling Etika to jump off a cliff. Etika has lost his mind. Like the third time. We even talked about the two other mental breakdowns that Etika had here at Trombler. Why do you fear death? Well, that's what I'm saying. That, that it's 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 scary because if you really think about it, then why live? Just yeah. jump off a cliff. The world will be better off without me. At least learning from my lesson. Team Star, <laughs> I wish you the best, my nigga. I mean, damn, we probably would have still had Etika if it wasn't for Team Star. On top of that, the toxic negative things that this guy says online about YouTubers has real life implications on these YouTubers. This is one of the. You don't say. Reasons why YouTube actually made this whole new rule where you can't trash talk people. Look what he did. Just can't do that at all. He's a freaking foozy too, man. You're making a documentary on it so you can post it after the fact. So if it. Why is he wearing his top like that? That, that. Reminds me one of them like, women's crop top. Is it crop tops? Them weird, weird things. I don't know if, like, you know. That's not a sit pad, so I don't know why he'd be showing off his belly, but, you know. Wops, you can have the hot news on how Fousey fucked up and he should kill himself. I rewatched videos going viral after the attention you're giving me now of you saying Fousey is the biggest piece of shit egotistical asshole on this earth. I so he bleeps out, Team Star, but doesn't bleep this video. I mean, you know. I have bipolar and depression. That what you put into my head made me want to kill myself! I grew up watching FoozyTube. This guy almost killed himself just like Etika, thanks to Keem's... I know this is like one side bias sort of stuff, but why didn't you, why didn't you bleep out him effing and jeffing and all that? I just don't... I don't know. It's just funny how this guy claims to be some sort of news channel, but he's out there spreading lies like crazy. I'm literally... Should I say this? I was gonna say it's like the BBC, but like I don't know if I can say that. I don't think I don't know if that's right. To an extent, it's right, but let's not get into that. Really surprised this guy hasn't got sued before from any other YouTubers. Now I've hated Keemstar for a long ass time, guys. Like here's a video from like two years ago when I was in Hollywood calling out Keemstar. Jealous, bro? I ain't going nowhere. You, p let's fight. Hey, me <gasps> and you, me and you, boxing ring. Oh, yeah, that makes it so much better. Knock your out. This guy has been talking smack about me for so freaking long. You just said you wanted to fight him. Make your mind up. Not only me, but like tons of other YouTubers. See, I'm guessing he just wants all these YouTubers to kill themselves so he can make a video about it and profit that moolah. But it's not gonna work on me, man. Here's what he said after I called. What do you mean it's not gonna work? What is it, a paracetamol or something? A bit, a little bit of a drug. Oh, here we go. If you if you take that, you'll just you'll you'll immediately make a video on it. That don't make sense. Just like that sentence that I've just said didn't make sense. Called him out to fight. I'm not getting in any ring with you, Mr. Irrelevant. True point is irrelevant until recently. Pretty funny. That's pretty crazy, man. That's pretty crazy. I'm so irrelevant that you're sitting here making dedicated, exposed videos on YouTube about me. Yeah, cause he's trying to stop people like you who are making 3am videos on people dying. Literally the point you're on about. Plus you made like 20 videos about me in the past. Plus I got more total views than you on YouTube. With okay. Just, 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 to, um, just to let you know. Um, he's got more subs than you, mate. And I mean, he does better quality content than you doing 3am videos on people who are dead, so. Like, half the amount of total videos, I'm about to pass you in subscribers on my YouTube channel. In like, half the amount of time it took you to get these subscribers. And my monthly views is like 50, 60. Why are you comparing this, boy? Oh, I'm not dead. I'm dead. You're sitting right here at 13 million views right now, bro. That means I'm like four times more relevant than you, bro. So I'm just trying to say this, Keemstar. If you want to hashtag stop J Station, you got to do it yourself, bro. So I'm going to call. He made it, so he did do it himself. Call you out again, bro. Let's get in the ring and fight. You can call. <sighs> this guy's pathetic. I, I, I have no words to explain anymore. 
What, let's get in the ring of fire. What is that going to prove? <laughs> I'm sorry, what is that going to prove? Oh, yeah, I knocked you out. Now you cannot talk about me. <laughs> Come down here to Toronto and I'll beat your ass in front of thousands. Apparently, ass is a swearing word. But no, no, all the stuff that Fousey Tube, Tube, or whatever his name is, said, no, no, not swearing at all. Thousands of people, bro. I would love for you to stop me yourself, bro. I mean, that thing you said to me a couple years ago about how I'm so relevant, we all know that's a big excuse, man. I'm more relevant than you could ever dream to be. You're even like 60, 70 more pounds than me. Let's go. Let's go. What does that make a big difference? And on the topic of food, I got. One of these, a wa waffle, I think it's called a toasted waffle. Do you want to eat that? Just for you. Oh, you got a huge advantage know. over Did me, that. man. I'm going to train my ass off. I'm a hard worker. I'm a dedicated fighter, bro. I'm going to make you eat your own words in front of everybody, bro. Who's going to say ass, to be fair? Let's go. Let's not do this six round. Let's go 12 round, bro. I don't want to wear no head protection, nothing like that. Let's go. We can settle it. If you want to settle it, let's go. So... New hashtag, fight J Station. If you guys want to see us go, man. Teamstar and me are like probably the two most hated YouTubers on this whole entire website. I'm glad you do know that you're the most hated YouTuber out there, or one of the most hated. I'm glad you know that. So, I think it would be the best fight possible. So, if you want to see me and Keemstar mm -hmm. fight it out, hashtag fight. J Station. I also find it funny that Keemstar is so on top of his ego, like he's walking around like he's running YouTube or something, bro. You can't even get 400,000 views on a vlog video. Like, nobody actually cares. You can't get 400,000 views on a vlog. 567. Unless I've, like, missed something in that situation. 567. It's about you. They just care when you talk about Jake Paul and Logan Paul, bro. It's actually pretty funny, man. You're that irrelevant. Yourself, Keemstar, is pretty irrelevant. You gave away three cars, and you could only pull 400k views, bro. That's sad, man. That's sad. I know that eats you up, bro. But you're trying to profit off people that are dead. I don't know how else I can explain that. I'm way more relevant than you. No, you're not. So, hashtag fight J Station. Let's get it. I have to leave on that frame, unfortunately. I don't like this guy at all. I don't know if you've noticed this, but, you know, he, some of his videos are okay. Like, you know, maybe some of like the clickbaity ones, like, oh, yeah, calling. I saw one calling Jesus at 3 a.m. and stuff like that. But, like, when his, some of his videos came out, like the Kobe Bryant one, I think he did. I need a few others. That's that's steep. That's too far. Just for views as well. Like you don't get views, of course, because you've got five million. But you don't need to go to that sort of extent. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the video there. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe for more weekly content. So yeah, catch you next time. Bye.